Hi guys, welcome to round 20's game review, but more importantly, your questions of uh, what you would like to have covered this week. So um, the first one is with regard to Ben Lennon and Nathan Gordon. Uh, what's keeping Lennon out of the team as composed as opposed to players like Gordon and Lloyd? Is there a spot for uh, for Knight still? Look, um, Ben's uh, obviously an important player for us. He's actually had a pretty good uh, season he played. His last two games at VFL level have been very good. We gave him greens in both those, so he's a player that will come into calculations this week. Been learning a bit of a new role. We've trolled him on the wing the last couple of weeks. He's probably averaging about 23, 24 touches, so we've been really pleased with what he's had to offer in that area of the game. Um, Gordo, we were really happy with his game on the weekend. He covered just under 16 kilometres. Uh, Gordo, so we've now started calling him Red Dog because he just runs and runs and runs all day. Uh, but he was outstanding. You know, he kicked two goals, set up another one with Brett Deledio, probably got that one denied on three quarter time siren. That would have been a terrific goal. But his work rate's been phenomenal. Uh, and young Sam Lloyd, we're really happy with as well. He played a fantastic game on the weekend versus Bendigo. So he's uh, put his hand up as well. So all three of those guys are not really vying for the same positions but similar. But we've been pleased with how they've gone. You know, realistically, they're all first-year players for us. All have contributed in some way, and we're looking forward to those guys improving again. Uh, next question, Deledio. What's given Lids this current run of form from uh, one of our supporters, Mark? Well, I think the, the big one from Lids, we probably prefer him using more up forward, playing the forward half. We feel he's, um, as we just saw there, his marking capability is, some, is a strength of his that we feel we can exploit a little bit more. Got to remember, he came back from a, I wouldn't say a serious Achilles injury, but it was a, it was definitely a setback with regard to his preparation. Probably didn't have his full fitness back, missed six or maybe seven weeks. So, take a little bit of time for him to get in form. But you can see he's got his his jump back, he's got his speed back. More importantly, he's kicking goals for us, which is which is great. The area we think he's really improved in is the ability to win his own ball. I think he's. You know, average-wise, I think he's our number three contested ball player, and more importantly, they're in the forward half, which is also really valuable for us. So we're really happy with the, the way he's gone. He's only going to get better as he learns to play that role more over the course of you know the remainder of the year, but also possibly next summer. So we are really pleased with how he's going. He's been outstanding, especially his last two games. So hopefully he kicks a bag for us this week versus the Crows. Uh, Griffiths, Griffiths contested mark, he's really standing out. Do you see more value of him up the ground or inside 50? Uh, that's a question from another mark. That's a, another really good point. Probably the thing with, with Griff is his contested marking has been outstanding. You know, he's long down the line marking, especially over the last couple of weeks, has been great. He's got fantastic uh, size, fantastic strength, and he's got an outstanding leap. So he generally takes a lot of marks across that wing area, which we're pretty pleased with. What we're really happy with though, inside 50, is his ability to lead. Uh, we think athletically he can get a lot of his opponents. You know, he's very agile for a guy of 200 centimetres, 100 kilos. So we want him to be more on the lead in that, that area of the ground. Generally, contested marks are a lot harder inside 50 because the ground narrows and also you have probably a lot of players dropping down there. So you're more likely to take your contested marks across the flanks or across the wings because there's a greater you know, area of ground to be covered and there's more density of opponents inside 50. But look, he's had a fantastic last two games. He's been a real beacon for us across that middle of the ground, but also inside 50. And you now as his confidence grows, he's only going to get better. We, um, it's a bit of a debate for us whether we get him to kick in from full back or kick long goals from the middle of the ground. So we're just constantly having that argument in match committee, but he's had a great couple of games. Uh, the final question today, our clearances around the ground at ball ups and throw ins appear to be very strong. Centre bounce is not nearly as good. Uh, why the difference with the same personnel usually involved? That's a great question from, from Darren. Um, look, it obviously fluctuates from week to week. You can see here, uh, young rider is a, is a leaper. You know, Ivan's more of a brute of a ruckman, so he'll, he'll jump in and make a contest, and we don't get the dominance that a lot of the leapers give us. Um, so from that point of view, we're really disappointed with our, our loss. I think it was, we won six, they may have won 15 on the weekend. Um, whereas around the ground from a ball up and boundary throw and I think we're ranked number A, AFL 2 and AFL 3 from our, all reports over the, those ones on the weekend. So look, the personnel point of view is a, is a little bit different. There's some setup changes. You can bring more numbers, less numbers, whatever you want to from that situation. But you know, like we said, Ivan's been an outstanding competitor, played against you know, a quality ruckman in rider, but 
you know, our midfield talent will always back in as long as you get a fair contest from our ruckman. So it'll be the same this week. We play a, a quality player in Sam Jacobs, who you know ruck dominant player. So it'll be a really tough game for us. But more importantly, we're looking forward to getting another win this week and um, hopefully bring home the four points. So we're still mathematically a chance. We've just got to continue to play well, continue to play an, op, you know, a, an aggressive style of football that we know we can score with. Uh, it's going to be a pretty high scoring game, I'd imagine, this week. So it'd be a good one to watch. So make sure you tune in and uh, support the boys as much as you can. Okay, see you soon.